Right, hopefully we don't have any more of those encounters where Zed just gets eaten alive. But it's bound to happen. And okay, we've got some skeleton mercenaries now. They're just going straight for him. That's not a good sign. I don't know why they just attracted to Zed. Oh, nice. Krodok got 35 strength. So that means he can equip that now. And look at that. That's a whole 100 plus armor. It's insane. Actually insane. If you were to do a solo run as a spellcaster, you definitely want to like go into melee and level your strength so you can equip armor such as that. And even like a lot of your gloves and stuff, they they require a lot of strength. And like for example that 16 strength, 1 plus nature magic. Zed's never gonna get that because I'm not putting him in melee. I could put him in melee for a little bit, but then he falls behind with his nature magic. So I'm tempted to think you'd level pretty quickly. Let's give it a shot, actually. I'm going to put him into melee. It might be that I just need... Oh, I should have done that with the grubs, actually. The, those big grubs. Just, uh... Oh. No, he's, he's dead. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you're solo, for sure. There's no reason why you can't. Right, we definitely want... Oh, okay, these are dropping, like, decent gear. Uh, where are you? That's a decent heavy plate. That banded armor, I think, is better than what you've got. Brigadine armor. Uh, can't remember. I don't think that's too great. Nah. The bows we definitely want to pick up. Okay, I do want him to get some strength. Let's try and get him to 16 strength, I think. That's probably going to be a wise decision. Oh, there's another mini boss there, Skeleton Captain. And the, oh, they've got a signpost for Fortress Croft now, pretty cool. The only issue will, since Sad's melee skill is zero, he might just never hit these guys anymore. Anymore, I just mean you might not hit them whatsoever. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just keep him on the magic. We'll figure out later on what we can do with him. It might be that we just have to say goodbye to Zed. But I don't want to do that. We're either just going to have to invest a lot of time into him, or or not, or just play the game like we have been. These guys are tanky. Uh, 
what was that short? Oh, okay, the short swords are kind of trash. 160 armor. I think the ones we got are better, but that's probably expensive. Oh, but what about this ancient banding? Oh, that's trash. Uh, war helm. Okay, interesting. Looks pretty cool. Right, everyone def hold fire. Are you going for Zed or not? No. Melee! See if you can hit. Oh, wait, what? Why did you... Okay, that's weird. No, 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 no. Everyone go and hold fire. Okay, as soon as someone hits it, it like aggroes onto them. Oh, that was a lucky uh, level. Wow, that had such a fast attack speed all of a sudden. Is this actually getting your strength up? It's not. Or not. Quickly, anyway. Melee's going up. Okay, it's probably not actually worth it then not worth it at all. That's fine. Let's kill the skeletons. They're pretty tanky, these ones. They seem to have like quite a lot of defense, which makes sense. They're fully armored. Oh, the horned maces are good, good weapons. I just, damn, I just realized that uh, crossbow is an upgrade for Yvora here. Oh, but it's one strength away. Right, okay. Oof. That is solid. Nice, that's a big boost for you. Again, I... Ah. You are kind of scuppered with your strength. Okay. Basker there is in a bit of an awkward position because of his plus strength gear and what he ha currently has equipped. Man, there's so many skeletons about. Kind of need to sell some stuff. I wonder... Do we head to the fortress and then... Sell off our equipment. Surely there'll be a vendor there or something. Or it might be still be quite far away from the fortress. It just says over this way. Says got twenty six magic. Not too bad. Oh, why are you guys standing there? Oh, 
Krug dog skeletons, but there's no Krug. It's just these skeleton rangers and knights. Bit odd. Same how these skeleton dogs explode in blood. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Oh, we've got another heavy plate. Flexible scale. Uh, two plus combat magic. That would be worth something. Uh, right. You can pick up that mace. And probably that bow. Just have a look and see what's over here. It's a sl small cave and a chest with nothing. Right, what is in here? Looks quite ominous. Very ominous. All right. Fancy looking little chest. Okay. Crossbow. Head hammer. See what that head hammer was. Okay, it's another 36 strength hammer, uh, which is decent. Very decent. Don't think anyone can equip it properly. Man, I'm just struggling for space here. crossbow. Whoops. Uh, you pick up. Thanks. Alright, well that was quite interesting find, I guess. I was expecting some kind of uh, creature, some villain lurking in here, but guess not. Music's just so good. So epic. I'll get you back on the flash. Well, that's quite a lot of skeletons there, so let's just be a bit careful. Maybe a healing grimace might be a bit good. Kill oh, those uh, dog there for me, please. Oh, that's another one. I think their attack speed just pretty. Pretty quick. Alright, not doing too bad. I mean, using all these potions is going to free up a lot of infantry space, so that's kind of what we want. I right, got another lightning spell there, which uh, we had that before the game crashed. Actually, Flash is just a bare spell, apparently, so we'll stick with that. Right, last little skeleton here. Cool. Pick up Death Blast, because that's a, worth a bit of money. More guys there, and I think some skeleton dogs there, so it's just kill everything. Oh, 
Our new wizard friend seems to be doing all right. Oh, there was sad yet again. I think he just got too close to the front. For some reason, he likes to run forward. And then he just gets absolutely minced by everything else. Get the pesky archers. How about you get him back on his feet? Get a revive out on Sad during this as well. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Um yeah, I think they do in some regards. Like, for example, when you get Merrick, he's a pretty solid spellcaster. There's another really good nature wizard in the, um, the swamps there. But that's the thing that they cost a lot of money for, like, this wizard I got was like 40,000. Okay, it's fine now because I've got a lot of money, but previous ones they've been like next to your entire cash pool. So it's okay, do I get a new member of the team or do I get items to upgrade the team? It's kind of in between. But now it's kind of redundant because we're just getting so much money. Well, I'll say redundant. Like you're not gonna, I'm not gonna get that four hundred thousand coins back. Like that's gone. Whilst when you buy items, you can return it back to the store at the exact same price. So it's not really much loss on your investment, I guess. Right, I think that's all the skeletons over here cleared up. 